country with history, art, and culture. A civilization that has survived through the centuries of rulers, revolutions, and wars. Its existence being threatened century after century by empires across the land. Iraq has survived them all. Iraq has fought in many battles this past century, one of them which includes the Desert Storm War of 1991. We will hear about the events leading up to the Desert Storm War from an eyewitness. He will share his story about what life in Iraq was like before the Desert Storm War and how it has changed the lives of the Iraqi people and the economy of Iraq. Iraq was such a great uh, country with a very old, old civilization with rich, rich resources. We have Tigris and Euphrates rivers running down all to the Gulf, Arabic Gulf, or Persian Gulf, they say in some books. And Iraq is setting on a huge, huge, uh, like, oil field. It's so rich. Iraqi economy was powerful before all these conflicts and people were living such a wonderful life. The living in Iraq was normal, like there was no like rich, you couldn't see any rich people or, or poor, poor people. They were all normal. The war started uh, between Iraq and Iran and that was a very, very painful war and devastating. They, both sides had uh, so many loss, losses. I believe for over 1.5 million got killed or disappeared or uh, became prisoner of war. So after the war ended and Khomeini died in 1988, uh, then it, uh, there was another factor, another subject came to the the stage like political agenda things. Uh, it started with Kuwait and Iraq, and Iraq blamed Kuwait for stealing their oil fields and sucking all this oil to the border by the help of one of the biggest American oil company. I'm not sure if it's Zabata or like a company in Texas. And I believe, I think uh, Kuwait was targeted by Abdul Karim Qasim also. And uh, geologically or geographically, many, many countries and things, uh, people think that Kuwait is a part of Iraq. It's the tail of Iraq, they think. So, but this time the tension also grew up and grew up and it caused the invasion. And Iraq was not prepared for this war, for the last, the second one, the Gulf War, because the Iraqi Iranian war uh, exhausted the regular uh, Iraqi regular army physically, mentally, and uh, mor morality. They were devastated and they were so tired. So now the situation in Iraq is so terrible. Uh, I remember one Iraqi dinner was 3.3 US dollar. And now, you're, now you're, one US dollar is 2,000 Iraqi dinner. Life is very hard in Iraq. People are just starving. They are not medical, uh, not hygienic conditions. Water is not pure. Many diseases are appearing and threatening the population. On August 2nd, 1990, Iraq invaded Kuwait. The UN Security Council demanded Iraq's complete and unconditional withdrawal from Kuwait. Iraq was given a deadline for the withdrawal of their troops by January 15, 1991. On January 15, Iraq had not yet complied with the UN's demands. On January 16, troops from the U.S. were deployed to remove Iraq from Kuwait by force. The Desert Storm War lasted until February 28, 1991, when a ceasefire was declared.
However, the permanent ceasefire was signed in April of 1991 by Iraq. 